Hi everyone, I am Wafa Lango and welcome you all in Grammar in Detail. If you are new and not subscribe the channel, so subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get some more videos about grammar. Today we are going to discuss the degrees of adjective. That is the last topic about adjective we will be discussing. And it will have several parts. I have divided it into parts and there we will be learning their topics one by one because it is a long topic and wherever you require them, there you can study them part wise. So let's start the degrees of adjectives, which are three, you know, the first one is known as the positive, second comparative, and the third one is known as superlative degrees of adjective. So before learning the degrees of adjective, we have got a topic that is known as syllable. You know, syllable plays a vital role to understand actually the degrees of adjective. Why? Because a lot of students get confused. Where do we use uh, more and most with the comparative degrees? and where where do we use uh, you know uh, er or est with the comparative and superlative degrees uh, so we will be discussing them one by one so you know definition of syllable is divided unit or part of a word according to vowel sound is called syllable so what do we mean by divided unit or part of a word according to vowel sound is called syllable you know in English, we have got some 26 alphabets and out of them, 5 are vowel and 21 are consonant, 2 of them are semi-vowels. But there is another word of English that is known as the kinds of, you know, uh, the, the part of, you know, uh, that sounds we have gotten in English, they are quite different to that. And this lecture I already have. The link I will be, you know, just uh, share, will be sharing it in the description box where you will understand actually what uh, what are the uh, difference between the sounds and alphabets and that I will be sharing. Now I will make your concept clear about it that what is syllable. So syllable is what you divided unit or part of a word according to vowel sound. You know, in English we have got 26 alphabets, but there are 44 sounds in English and that is what I have I will share it and you can understand them easily So syllable is divided unit or part of a word according to vowel sound and vowel sounds are you know uh, How many 20 and consonant sounds are? 24 so 24 consonant sounds are there and five uh, alphabets, but 20 sounds so Syllable is divided unit or part of a word according to vowel sound. This topic we will be discussing further in detail. But here we just need to understand it just for adjectives. Why? Because that is related with the degrees of adjective. And we will have example. You know now there are four alphabets. But it has got some three syllables. Ta. Uh, it has got one syllable and three three sounds. A. Uh, that is known as your uh, consonant and the first one is your consonant the mid one is known as your uh, vowel uh, sound so over here we have got one vowel sound that is known as ah uh. that is known as tall so further i've written that the word tall as one syllable in the same way we have got the next topic that is big you know the word big you can see that i have underlined that has got how many syllables one syllable and noble the word noble has got two syllables no and bull and in the same way we have got a bull the word able has two syllables you can see that you know a and h o and h clear the air we have got e sound so that is what you know big has got one noble has got two and able has also got two syllables so next we have expensive you can see that a uh, e and him or there you know we uh, i v e gives one sound that is if so that is known as the word expensive has got how many syllables three syllables next we have got in tally and gent so the word intelligent has got three syllables so you know that was all about these syllables now we will be discussing the degrees of adjective 
you know degrees of ejective are how many three positive comparative and superlative degree now if you understood the topic about syllable so you will be able to understand the degrees of ejective now the first one we will be discussing that is known as positive degree definition positive degree of ejective tells us the existence of a quality it tells us the existence you know that it this quality exists in a person place or a thing that is known as existence of a quality example is she is brave now you know or here she brave is your ejective which is adding something in the meaning of she and telling the existence of quality which is present in her so that is known as she is brave karachi is a big city now or here you know big is your ejective adding something in the meaning of city and telling you the existence of a quality that it is big and it is an expensive car expensive is your ejective which is adding something in the meaning of car and telling the existence of a quality next we have got comparative degree now comparative degree is what comparative degree of ejectives is higher degree than positive degree of ejective it is used when we compare two persons places things or groups you know in comparative degree we compare two persons two places two things or two groups example you know over there i said she is brave but here i say she is braver than you over there braver is adding something in the meaning of you know uh, your pronoun and telling that you know she is braver than you so she has got more quality than an another person so in the same way the next second example karachi is bigger than koita here we are comparing two places like karachi and koita so we are saying that if we, if we compare both cities karachi is bigger than koita as compared to koita so next we have got this car is more expensive than that car if there are two cars you know i said this one which is near to you is more expensive than that car which you can see that is far away and in the same way we have got the third degree that is known as superlative degree definition superlative degree is the highest degree it is used when we compare more than two persons places things or groups you know it is the highest degree and we we have got over here to compare more than two persons places or thing see more than two that can be persons places things and groups here example is she is the bravest girl in a school before we say that she is brave then we compared it with a person we said that she is braver than you and then we are saying in superlative degrees that you know whatever the girls are present in school she is bravest out of them so she is the bravest girl in school that is again adding something in the meaning of pronoun and telling you the uh, quality of a person which is uh, all and all the best second example we have got karachi is the biggest city in pakistan first we said karachi is the big city then we said that it is bigger than koita now in superlative degrees we have got that you know karachi is the biggest city in pakistan so here we are comparing the word uh, the uh, adding something in the meaning of word karachi noun and telling that this city is the biggest city in pakistan and last example this is the most expensive car in garage now are there see i told that this is an expensive car then i said that you know it is more expensive than that car but now i say that this is the most expensive car in garage so that is more expensive now syllable we learned that you know brave has got one syllable big has got one syllable expensive has got three syllables keep in your mind when we talk and then this topic we will be having in coming lectures that you know if an adjective has got one syllable so you will have the comparative degree with the er and superlative degree with the est like big bigger biggest and brave braver bravest but expensive has got three syllables so you will say you will use the uh, word more and in comparative and most in superlative and the positive more is less and most is least 
so these all we will be coming uh, we will be discussing in coming lectures where your concept will be clear about the uh, sal uh, the word sal syllable so syllable you need to remember coming lectures it will help you a lot hope you got today's lecture wish you best of luck see you next time with next lecture goodbye